Lagos is the smallest state in Nigeria. It occupies the least, the smallest uh, land uh, area. I think three point something square meters of Nigeria, and yet it has the most. It is the most populous state. Kano, Lagos, uh, yeah, but Lagos, I think, is the most populous if you look at it today. And since the land mass has not increased, there is no problem for me to begin to feel that having to walk from point A to point B is a big pain. When the decision to restrict Okada and uh, Kemarua, as they are called, was taken. Lagos has got the explanation so clearly that it was taken in the interest of security of lives and property and safety of our people. If about 20 people per day were being sent to government hospitals alone, not considering other hospitals, government facilities alone, heads broken, limbs broken, heads smashed, and blood everywhere, I mean, a sensible government to move in to arrest that kind of nonsense. And that's exactly what we did. It was a decision taken for security concerns, for safety concerns. After several months of advocacy, after several meetings with stakeholders, the riders themselves, local government chairmen, elders, politicians, ordinary negotiators, activists, before we took that decision. And don't forget, it's a decision of not just the state government, the State Security Council, which met three, four times before that decision was taken. So the decision was not sudden. It was taken in the interest of uh, security of lives and property. And it was taken in just six local governments out of Lake, uh, uh, about 20. And in Lagos, there are over 6,000 roads. Then out of 6,000, if they are saying don't go to 300 and something roads. I mean, well, for God's sake, there are still thousands of other roads to go to. Then people are now making it to look as if the end of the world has come. And I thank God that between that time and now, it's about two weeks now, the end of the world has not come. Our uh, People are beginning to understand that, look, the pains of today, I sympathize with them that they are going through such pains, if, there are, if you can call it pains, that the pains of today will result in gains tomorrow, and that the pains will be short-lived because the government is so fast and moving fast to do what it, need, it needs to do to reduce whatever pains people are feeling and to provide alternatives. And the alternatives have been provided. More buses are coming. Some are there already. Small, small buses are also coming. And in no time, in the coming days, you will see that all these alternatives will have come. And Ferries are there now. The other day, about uh, a week and a half ago, I was on a ferry from uh, uh, Badore to uh, Palomo. I spent less than 30 minutes. And people have been using the service in, uh, for the past two weeks. So the decision was taken in the interest of our people. The Babajide Sonwolu administration was elected by the people. The people should just credit the government with uh, a modicum of compassion and a modicum of uh, intelligence, no matter how little, that this government that we have elected is not going to start punishing us for nothing's sake. If you look at police figures, it was uh, an alarming situation. People, young women who close from work, 5 p.m., 6 p.m., 7 p.m., they can't wait at the bus stop, they get their bags snatched, and people just uh, fly away on Okada. People are in their homes watching television, 9 p.m. They come in, rob people, and before you begin to shout for help, they are gone on Okada. So the kind of uh, things that uh, 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 people were doing with uh, uh, motorcycles, I mean, it wasn't uh, palatable at all, and the government felt uh, it must be stopped. Another way, security matters are not things that you go on television and begin to talk about. They are not things that you go and uh, splash your newspaper pages. There are so many people who don't sleep so that you and I can sleep soundly in our homes. There are so many people who watch over our state. They know what they see. 
And it's such people are filing reports and telling you about the likely danger that may come. You have to do something. And that leads me to the question of alternatives. If you weigh security matters, and you weigh alternatives, the pains that people are going to go through if you don't provide alternatives and you just stop Keke and uh, Okada, and you feel that stopping Keke and Okada outweighs looking for alternatives and allowing alternatives to come, you will stop Keke and Okada so that you don't get blamed for something more terrible. The other day, I think about uh, two months ago, we went to look at the blue line, the railway blue line. The problem is uh, finance. And as I speak, what is going on there? And what they have to do now is uh, they have finished the water aspect of it. All those uh, pillars, BV pillars they've been erecting. The ones they are going to erect now, they are ones that are simple because they don't need to go into water. They, can, they are the ones they can't do on the ground. So the plan of the government, the dream of the government, the prayer of the government is that negotiations by this time next year to start enjoying that service. What we are actually talking about is uh, leveraging technology to make the city uh, more comfortable for people, to make the p city more attractive to investors, to make the city more workable for business people. And we are going to do that through uh, through use of internet, through uh, control of uh, traffic by technology, through uh, uh, mapping of the city by uh, uh, technology so that if you want to get your land papers, you want to apply for something, you, everything will be easy. You can sit down in your room and do business with the government. You don't need to come to Alausa to do whatever you want to do. Then if you are on the road, you, traffic is controlled not just uh, by human beings, but by human beings who use uh, technology. They don't need to run after your car if you have committed any offense. They don't need to get so physical with you. I mean, they behold the tablets that can show everything about the particulars of your vehicle, who the owner is, where he lives, and all that. That is what we are talking about a smart city. And then talking about area boys, most of these guys that you are talking about, I'm tell you, they have been taken off the street. If the government is not making noise about it, it's because the sheer number of uh, guys who need to be taken off the street is uh, huge. That is why the, the government is not making noise about it. But gradually, they have been taken off the street. I saw some of them, I think uh, last week, wearing some uniform, and I was wondering, they were being, uh, they were working around the, the, the ferry charming us in Palomo, and they had uniforms on. You know, but I could recognize them. Some of them are working for Lagos State uh, Parks and Gardens. Some of the gardens that you see, they work on, on, on the gardens. But like I told you, there are many. So they have been engaged in such things. They have been made to learn how to tend flowers. They have been made to learn how to work at uh, ferry stations and all that. But there are many. So gradually, we will be taking them off. And the smart city that we dream of will eventually come without the menace of area boys. So if the government is talking about security, why will the people not trust the government to do everything possible, including to even make them work for a few minutes before getting to their homes, if it's just for security concerns? Why wouldn't they just trust the government? Why wouldn't they just credit the government with some make of compassion that this is a government that cannot inflict pains on us unnecessarily? So, and talking about those people, I have forgotten what was promised at that time. Government is a continuum. And like I have said, the Baba Jason Wool administration is a compassionate one. If you look at all the steps the government has taken in uh, about 200 and something days it's been in office now, we see that it's been towards making life comfortable for the common man. I mean, the loans being given to people to set up their own businesses through the Lagos State Employment Transport, what Office of uh, Women, uh, uh, Office of Poverty Elevation is doing. 
you know, giving people uh, training and then setting up uh, them or prepping them with uh, uh, equipment such as machines, uh, such as cookers, and so many other things. And if you look at the uh, Office of Civic Engagement, people just come in who have one problem or the other and who get cash handed to them, people who are ill, who get uh, money to pay their medical bills and all that. So it's a compassionate government. If there are things to be done for this set of people that you are talking about that have not been done, I can assure you that the government will eventually do it if proper representation is made. Because there are so many people who make any representation to the government, but they will just stay at home and be grumbling. The government promised them, promised this and that. The Sanwola administration will never promise what it cannot do, deliver. To enjoy more of these our Ugonke videos when you just watch, press this button to subscribe on top of our YouTube page. You go love her.